Ah, all right, guys. Today, we're gonna be making, again, smoked salmon. The last one I made was so delicious that I've gotta try it again. The only thing that I didn't like in the last recipe was the salting method. If you leave it too long to brine in salt, it has a very salty and intense flavor. So I scoured the internet, I looked up different types of recipes, different methods of curing and brining. One of the things that I found was the equilibrium method. Basically what it is, is that you're adding a certain percentage of the entire weight of the meat, in this case the fish, into a sous vide or a vacuum sealed pack with the meat and you leave it in the fridge for 24 hours up to five, six days, depending on what you're curing. That's what we're gonna be doing with one of these salmons. And the other one, I'm gonna be using the salt method exactly like I did in my other video. I'll leave a link for it there. Go ahead and check that one out. Really incredible result. So we're gonna see what the, really the difference is. We're gonna be smoking both on my Weber kettle. Most popular outdoor cooker in America. Uh, doing a cold smoke. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so like I mentioned, the two ways we're gonna be doing it, there's small little pieces to test out. Uh, the small one, we're gonna be doing equilibrium method. Already prepared a vacuum seal bag. And then for this one here, we're gonna be using the salt method. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Wait for it to tear. Perfect. Which is that way. And we need it in, oh, in grams. All right, so we got 697 grams. We're gonna be doing a two and a half percent of that uh, in salt and one and a half percent in sugar. And I'm gonna be adding that into a little bowl. So give me a second, I'm gonna wash my hands. Two and a half percent of roughly 700 grams is 17 and a half grams of salt. Oh boy, we've been measuring in the wrong measurements. Maybe that seemed a bit off. Hmm. I think 258 grams is a bit too much. <laughs> you don't say. So let's empty that out. Don't worry, this isn't going to waste. We're gonna be using this for the salt method. A little bit of salt goes a long way. Eight grams, 17. We're gonna bump it to 18. Oh, perfect. Okay, we're gonna add now to that 18 grams. We're gonna tear it. All right, and we're gonna add now the one and a half percent. We're gonna be using normal white sugar. Um, you can use brown sugar or whatever you like. Yeah, so we teared it. We're gonna be adding 11 grams. That's a little too much. A few moments later. There we go. More moments later. Yeah, you know what, we'll up it to 15 grams. There we go, perfect. So now we're gonna get that with the salmon in the vacuum seal bag. I'm gonna pour this right on in. Try to get as much all over as you can. I'm actually gonna get my head inside and rub this all over the fish. Keep it closer to the edge. Perfect. All right, now let's vacuum seal it. And in the fridge it goes. Right, the second piece, we got that little tail. First, the salt method. Got to layer it with salt. Two thirds salt, one third sugar. We want to mix it up real well. And you really want to make sure to create a bed at the bottom. Now you can use an alu aluminum tray for this which is just as good. Just make sure to line it with some saran wrap or plastic wrap so that it doesn't uh, react badly, the salt with, um, with the metal. The whole point of this is that every nook and cranny is covered with the salt. Now what's gonna happen is the salt is gonna absorb and fight the sugar to, to penetrate and to absorb as much as possible. Now we're gonna cover it and get it in the fridge for 24 hours to brine, and you're gonna see the amount of gunk that comes out of it. All right. So you guys can see a closer look. That is just pure covered with salt and sugar. Close it well. And the equilibrium piece, we'll put it right on top. All right, and we'll see you in a few days. Let's take a look and see the moisture or the water content that's come out of the fish. And here, that salt method, look how much it pulled out. 
Usually this is actually a, like a weirder color after 24 hours, the water. I'm gonna rinse it off. I'm gonna let it sit in, uh, in the bath of water for about 15 minutes. All that salt we're gonna rinse off right now. There we go. I really wanna wash it off well, okay? Because the salt penetrated pretty, pretty deep. Now it's sitting in a good amount of water and we're gonna let that sit and hydrate uh, a bit more, like I mentioned, 15 to 20 minutes. The equilibrium one, look and see, it's actually just as floppy as when we put it in. So we put in a certain amount of salt and there's only so much moisture that can be extracted, but we're gonna go ahead and rinse that, put it on the wire. So we got both of them. Now we're just gonna have to remember that the one that has the tail is the one that did the salting method and the one that is just the body is the equilibrium. Just look at the color difference on the equilibrium method. That orange salmon color really hasn't been lost. The salt method, see the salt one has like a little bit of a more a grayer tone to it. They're gonna go in the fridge for 24, 48 hours, uh, uncovered so that they can start to form a pellicle, a little crunchy layer on the outside. And then on, now so today's Friday, and then on Sunday, we're gonna smoke them. Smoke them. All right guys, good morning. It is Sunday morning now. Most people in this house are still sleeping. I'm waking up early to get the smoke going and get the salmon on for at least two hours, just to give it a nice hit of poof, hickory smoke. And I'm going to show you right now what the salmon looks like after uh, leaving it in the fridge uncovered to form a pellicle. You're going to notice the equilibrium one is a lot fleshier. The salt method came out has a nicer, um, I don't know, nicer, but a thicker pellicle layer. And I'm going to show you the hickory too. I used to use a lot of Traeger's uh, pellets um, but that I got at Costco, but honestly, I don't like the taste anymore. I find that it's really, really strong. Um, so I'm putting that one aside. So instead of using pellets in my uh, in my pellet tube, I'm gonna be using small wood chips. Let's see how, if it really makes a difference. All right, now the trick with cold smoking is you gotta make sure that the temperature stays below 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Above that, it starts to get into the danger zone um, and you start really to cook. We're gonna light up our wood chips. We're gonna get it in as far away as possible from the fish. I'm gonna show you that on the Weber. And then we're gonna get started. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell because there's a lot of really cool modifications coming to this Weber kettle that's gonna make it so much easier to use and so much better. Here we go. I'm gonna put these salmon on the... Actually, I'm not gonna use this tray. I thought I was gonna use it. Nice and dry. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, the reason that we use a pellicle is because any moisture will ruin the fish when you're smoking it. The smoke adheres to moisture um, instead of to the salmon, and then you don't really get a great end product. So, there we go. Both salmons are on. Smoking tube is lit. Let's close the lid. All right, so someone asked me, what does hickory smoke smell like? It smells like a cabin an up north cabin that is lighting a fire from the chimney. That's what it smells like. Or even without the fire from the chimney, just the the, the ashes, the, it's already been burnt out. It smells quite nice. It really, it smells quite nice. Now let's see how that translates into the smoked salmon. Now this is the one hour mark. Let's just take a look how the salmon is looking. Looking good. Smells great. Really, really smells nice. Very, very nice. All right, let's cover it and keep it smoking. Two hours later. All right, it's been two hours. Got a nice cutting board to lay the uh, smoked salmon on. It's been smoking like crazy. Let's get him off. Wow. That is smoky, but that looks good. The grill is really not hot. Luckily, today is a cold day. Oh, wow, it's actually a very nice smell. I'm just gonna let that burn out. Right, let's get this in to rest for about uh, 20 minutes. 
and then we're gonna cut it up. All right, so the salmon's are ready to be sliced. The house really, really smells smoky. So we're gonna slice him. I'm gonna get him in a vacuum sealed bag and get him in the fridge to cool down. The smoke needs to tamper down for a couple hours, even overnight. That's when the flavor really becomes perfect. All right, done slicing. I'm gonna vacuum seal them. I'm just gonna give them a taste before uh, vacuum sealing them, putting them in the freezer. Uh, one's gonna go in the fridge, I'm gonna have it tomorrow with some family. Um, the other one's gonna go in the freezer. And what's nice about the freezer, it actually breaks it down uh, even more, becomes softer. So here's two pieces. You see those? This one is the salted method, and this one is the equilibrium. Let's see if there's really a difference. Oh, that name of Allah, je connais le bord. Mmm. The smoke is a little too intense. It needs to rest, but the flavor is quite nice. Not overpowering. Salted just enough. Really, really nice. Now let's try the equilibrium. It's a little different. More fleshy. Kind of like homemade or fresh smoked salmon. It doesn't taste like the one taste like the one that you get from the store. It's very nice. Uh, on bagel and cream cheese, I think the best one is gonna be, I don't know. I don't have a winner in this case. They're both really good. I wonder how it would change if I would have left the equilibrium a little bit longer instead of just 24 hours for each of them. Um, I know that if I would have left it for 36, the one with the salt would have been much saltier and much more harsh. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, see you soon.